on today's episode we're chasing barramundi um i've yet to be successful with these fish I've tried so many times now i've head out to the river and just can't seem to land one but hopefully today's the day uh i'm gonna head out on the low tide at the moment i'm gonna try find some mullet find a spot where i'm we might be able to get one. I don't know how many attempts I've had at this at the moment, but today's the day. So let's give it a crack. And uh, yeah, we'll roll that intro. Yew! along the bank now, see if we can find ourselves some mullet for bait. Um, hopefully, it's low tide, so it might be a little bit difficult. Mullet usually come in on the high tide. Uh, at the moment, they might sit a little bit deeper, but I'll try walk along the bank, find some mullet for bait, and then, yeah, we'll get into it. So let's do it. So we're looking for a couple of mullet there. That's the story. Big bar, big bait. Ooh. Slap them bar. This is the one. Oh. What the hell? This is on the... Oh! Oh! What the hell? We 
got the release on the barra. I've been chasing one of these for about three months now. Um, coming back, trying all different kinds of tides, trying all different types of places along this creek, and I finally, finally got the barra, so I'm absolutely pumped with that. I hooked it about midway through the incoming tide, and then I saw my rod take off, barra jump out of the water, race across, grab the rod, and uh, luckily I got it in. Super pumped with that one. Another tick off the bucket list. That was absolutely sick, and it released well. Absolutely wrapped with that. Super sick. You let's get another one. Do you have that one though? Good, it, got it. That's a crack as hell. Very nice. Woo hoo hoo! gonna run through now how to cast a throw net. I'm definitely no guru at it but this is just a simple way to try. So if you don't know how to do it give this method a go and see if it works for you. So from this point all you want to do is wrap the main line around your dominant arm or your casting hand. For me it's my right hand. Work your way to the top of the net. From this point you come down about a foot from the top of the net quickly run through your line down the bottom 
make sure there's no tangles in it. So we're all good. So from here, one more loop from your waist. Make a short loop like that. Now you're pretty much good to go. So from here to load the net, you grab the sinker from any of the outside position on the net, like there. Throw it over your hand. Next point, you want to follow this outside line. Loop that over your hand. Now you go to your inside line. Loop that over your hand. So now we're loaded. I just grab about a third that's left of the inside line and I'm good to go. So when I cast this, I'm going to go throw it over the top with my dominant hand and underneath with my less donor or the one that's holding the last of the sinkers. So we'll have a cast now and see if we can get a mullet. Fairly decent sized mullet here. Only got one in that cast, but that's primo bait for a big barra. Woo! Depending on what size mullet I've been using, if uh, if I'm getting a decent sized mullet like this, I'll hook them straight through the mouth there, top of the lip. And if they're slightly smaller or any smaller than this, I'll pin them back here through the tail. So they're the two points where I'll uh, actually hook these mullet on as bait. And later on I'll quickly run you through the rig that we're using up there, a really simple running sinker rig um, for these live bait. All right, for the rig that we're using for the live bait, pretty simple. I've actually started to use these SL12 Gamagatsu hooks. I find that if we're using a heavier gauge hook it seems to slow the mullet down a fair bit especially if we're live baiting with mullets. So the lighter gauge I think is a bit better. At least it keeps the mullet swimming right and uh, makes them last a lot longer on the hook. So that one there is the Gamagatsu SL12S saltwater series straight hook no offset it's probably one of my favorite hooks to use for live baiting and even putting in skirts for billfish but we'll get to that later I've got a foot about a foot of 80 pound leader to a swivel and then a single running bean sinker now we've got pretty big tides at the moment so I'm using this size sinker but obviously on the smaller tides we'll drop the sinker down as well you could probably run the sinker straight to the hook, but I like to keep it off the hook a little bit just so it doesn't touch the mullet and allows the mullet to swim around freely. So from the, the swivel, I've got a metre and a half of 80 pound leader and then straight to the main line, which I'm just running 30 pound braid on this one. So super simple rig and uh, that's all we need to get them. <laughs>
Rhino. Number two, mate. Yeah, boy. The legal size limit on these are 55 to 80. So we'll just quickly run this tape measure on it and see if we can uh, take this one home for a feed. This one comes in at 670. So we'll uh, dispatch this one quickly and then this is going to be dinner. Pretty stoked with that one. Yep. Another epic day today. Full moon tonight, so it's pretty big tides going on. And about uh, 2 o'clock to Savo, about midway through the run out tide, it was all action. I uh, end up landing two barra. Pretty excited about that one. And uh, we'll take one of them home now. Good eating size, so we'll uh, take the fillets off it and then do a taste test. Looking forward to this one. Ew! session down at the creek today. Landed two barra. One of them was just over 600 mil. So we thought this would be a good size model to take home, do a taste test on. Cook the rest of it up in some panko crumbs, Italian herbs and salt and pepper. We'll see how it turns out. Let's head over there. Half the people die while the rest of us are splitting hands. It's a good world. Pretty good. Mm. Really nice. Super soft, flaky texture. Not fishy at all again. I didn't think it was gonna be. That's gonna have to be up there. That's actually a really nice fish. I can't give it a five out of five. I would say 4 out of 5 for that one. Really nice fish to eat, especially fresh. Um, yeah, have a crack at it Nick and see what you reckon. Good, not good. Really good, really bad. No, it's really good. Really good? Really good. If you had to give it a rating out of five? Um, I reckon I'm pretty happy with your four out of five for this one. Yeah. But it's a really nice fish. Like, not fishy at all. Yeah, it's just a really nice texture as well. I might even give it a sneaky half star. Four and a half out four of five. Four and a half, I reckon. I'll put it up there. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I can see why. People love this fish so much. Super fun fish to catch and delicious. Oh.
Good, no good. Really good. Really good. Happy with that? Not there with my favorite. <laughs> Definitely. They're gonna be in my top Righto guys, that's it for this episode. Nick and I are going to fight over the last piece of Barra. If you liked it, leave a like below and subscribe to the channel. We're currently working on the next one, so tight lines and we'll catch you there. You.